Right, I'm going to demonstrate transfer from one set of ropes to the other. Level one manoeuvre. Right, so before I leave the ground, I'm going to tie these ropes together because I want to eliminate the chance of dropping and losing these ropes, which would be unable to complete the manoeuvre, which could be a major in the rata syllabus. So what I'm going to do here, finish the four ends. I'm going to tie these rope knots together, uh, these ropes together. What knot am I going to tie? We'll call this a who gives a fuck knot. Purely for it's a non low bearing knot. So I've tied a reef knot, but it doesn't matter. As long as these ropes do not come attack, dis disconnect, it's all good. So I'm going to leave that. Now I'm going to ascend. I'll send these ropes like normal. Carabiner is all done up. So as normal, climbing to my ascender, get a transfer, same as every maneuver you'll do in rope access, you'll always transfer in your descender. Okay, stage one. Never changes, okay? Get a step up, I'm my as ascender. So I'm now in my descending device, yeah? So I can remove my hand, my chest, my hand ascender. Touched on my harness for just now. So now let's just say the assessor has asked me to, he wants me to uh, stay at one level. So what I'm going to do here, pull these ropes up that I conveniently tied earlier. Okay, so I've now got my second set of ropes here. Now I'm going to attach my second backup device. The new set of ropes. And my fourth point is going to be my chest ascender. Okay, so I've now got four points of attachments. If I'm vertically below my anchor points, I've got two points. If I'm going anywhere out with vertical, I'm going to ensure I've got four points of contact, okay? So I'm leaving these ropes behind, so I'm going to have them on my left hand side, just watch that backup device, it's slipping down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to leave these ropes behind, so I'm going to leave them on my left hand side. I'm going to climb onto these ropes, so my, my two points here, ascender, backup device. I've got my ascender and backup device in these ropes, four points of contact. Okay, so I'm going to be climbing, so I'm going to need my chest, my hand ascender. I attach that to my new working rope. Okay, so initially, you should be able to just reach across, grab that rope like so, pull yourself across, nice and steady. Backup device, same again, always remain above shoulder height. Okay, from there, I can now reach across. So I, I believe good practice is to always climb out of a rope to rope transfer. Okay, so now you can use my foot loop, my leg, and I'm gonna climb this rope as I would do if I was climbing vertical, okay? You climb across, backup device, nice and high above shoulder height. Climb across again. And I'm gonna continue climbing. Okay, one more. But I'm happy with that. I've maintained my height at all times. I'm comfortable with that. So now from here, I'm gonna descend out. So I'm going to descend these ropes, like so. Backup device. So the backup device must remain above your descending device, okay? 
So, for, so here at the moment, it looks like it may be a little bit lower, but it's not. It's actually here on the rope, okay? So it's above my descending device. I right, continue descending out. So I'm gonna look up, I'm now completely vertical below my two anchor points, my two independent anchor points. So these ropes are now dead, so I can remove this descender. I can remove this backup device. Now when my chest ascender, I want to transfer, as always, from my ascending device back into my descending device. I was no longer to stand up, step out, always using my legs, step out my ascender, pull up on my descending device. Now I'm fully loaded in my descending device. Change of our complete. Road to transfer complete. Tidy up. Descend the rope. Yeah, mate. So you'll notice that can be a common, can be a common minor in your assessment. So you'll see here the handle has been stuck, got stuck on the rope here. So the, the technically the, the handle of the descender is stuck. Okay. If I didn't have control of this rope, my right hand, that would be a minor. Okay. So that's why I always say you should always be holding on to your uh, descending rope. Okay. So from there, I can now descend normal. So if I was to let go of this, the, the control rope, I would get a minor for this, as I just explained. Um, but because I've got a hold of it, no minor. Bloody done, mate. 